OK, let's head back to the student strike for climate change story now. Natasha Abayawikrama is one of the students taking part and she joins us now. Natasha, g'day. Uh, so, first of all, why are you taking part? Well, um, the government has shown that they aren't taking effective action on climate um, and the climate crisis is happening now um, and we only have seven years until it becomes irreversible and they're still subsidizing the fossil fuel industry funding gas especially recently um, and we're here to demand that like we're seeing this and we're aware that they're doing this and they shouldn't be doing this if they care about young Australians. The government argues that it will meet and beat its Paris targets and it says this gas fired power station that it's going to be that you've referred to that it's going to build in the Hunter Valley uh, is needed to shore up the electricity supply. What, what do you make of the government's claims that it is doing the right thing by the climate? I think it's very, very incorrect. Um, the International Energy Agency has said that there can't be any more coal, oil or gas projects in order to meet these net zero targets. Um, the government also don't have any 2050 energy targets. Um, so we're way behind many other countries globally. And I think that the way to move forward is renewable energy. There are more jobs in renewable energy. Um, it's much more sustainable. Gas is a finite resource. It is eventually going to run out. It is not going to sustain Australia. What do you make of the government's position on those 2050 targets that it would be preferable to meet it by, the, by then, but it's not kind of setting it as a target? I think we don't even have a 2050 target and either way it's not good enough we only have seven years until the impacts of climate change become irreversible um so obviously we need to have action now and we do need to be setting targets to 2030 because 2050 is not going to be enough time for us to be able to deal with the damages of the crisis and there were hundreds of thousands of students who took part in this last uh, school strike for climate day which was yeah in the, in the last 12 months i think it was Tell us about the inspiration you take from people like Greta Thunberg and the depth of feeling within the young generation about this issue. Well, Greta has done a really great job in unifying um, the climate movement across the world and really speaking for young people to world leaders. And I think all young people share the common experience of being very scared of their future because we don't know what it's going to look like if we're going at the rate that we are currently moving at. And I think that's a really um, valuable and unifying thing um, as we all meet in the streets to protest for the same thing. Yeah, and so that's happening today? Yes, today day, at 12pm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Natasha Baywick-Roman, thanks so much for coming in and having thanks. a chat to us.